Hey everyone, it's Rishabh, and when I applied to Harvard, three out of my five top activities were related to science research. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through step by step through a framework to start your own science research club at your high school, which will demonstrate leadership capability, your passion, and your interest for science research. So if you're new here, I'm a Harvard student studying neuroscience, and as I mentioned, research was a huge part of my high school experience. It's now a part of my undergraduate experience as well. I love it and I wanna help foster that passion for you all as well. So why should you start a research club? Well, number one is you can gather those like-minded students at your school who are highly motivated, ambitious students wanting to come together and do STEM or do research on other fields as well. So we'll help foster that for you. In addition, I'll literally handhold you. I'm gonna provide you with a ton of resources for funding to get $100 up to $1,000 in grants per club that you all start. So this is gonna be insane. In addition to that, we'll also provide you with social media templates, a club agenda and slides. Trust me, I know what it's like back in junior, senior year of high school when I started becoming club president of like our STEM club and of the speech and debate team and leadership roles in those various clubs, right? It becomes kind of, confusing sometimes when you show up to a club meeting and you don't really know what to do, like what is the next step? We will provide you with a whole agenda and slides as well as social media templates so you can truly scale your impact and grow. And I think this one kind of goes without saying, it's why I kind of clickbaited you on the title, but it is an amazing leadership opportunity. Now I do wanna clarify that this is not a substitute for genuine STEM or research activities. I have an entire video series on my channel, like you can literally scroll down, hit my profile icon, go to the playlist section, I have a whole video series on how to do science research, right, step by step. This is not a substitute for that. This is simply a great leadership opportunity that I think should be in, done in conjunction with your own projects and STEM work or lab work at your local research institution, right? Whatever it is, this should be done in conjunction with that. Just a disclaimer out there so I don't get a bunch of angry comments down below saying, no, oh, why'd you tell me to do this? Now, by the end of this video, I want you to walk away with knowing exactly how to create a research club and scale it to hundreds of members and have a genuine impact on your local community. We'll provide you once again with uh, what I said, the funding, the social media templates, all of that, but just stick around. If you genuinely believe in this mission of, of creating a research club at your school, you will greatly benefit from this video, but you need to watch all the way through. So the first step is the creation process. So some clubs have something called a bylaws, which is basically like the ground rules or constitution that you set for your club. Now, some schools actually require you to submit that when you register or file for a club at your school. So we here at the International Research Olympiad, the organization that's doing this, have created some templates for you for the bylaws, as well as reaching out to a teacher or adult sponsor who can vouch for your club in the description down below. In addition to this, you'll need to affiliate with the International Research Olympiad. I am the chair of the Student Board of Advisors, and that's why I'm kind of leading this initiative. But basically, we'll have you register your research club with the IRO. You just need to fill out a simple form, and that's gonna give you access to our extensive partner network, all the funding opportunities, all the templates that I mentioned, and so on. Now you're watching this video on YouTube, which means that you're a social media user and you understand the importance of social media presence. So I think for your clubs, it's really important that you create like an Instagram account at the very least. Even better is like a LinkedIn and your own Discord and even group text kind of thing, just to communicate and keep your club members active as well as get more members because how the social media algorithms work is they'll recommend your club's posts or your account to other people associated with your club. So to look at the followers and be like, hey, this person who's not following our account but is friends with like these 40 people, let's recommend this account to them. So it's basically a really great way to increase the number of members in your club. In addition to that, it boosts the engagement during your club meetings. I remember back in high school, if we would post on our Instagram account saying like, hey, club meeting today at, in North 225 at 3 p.m. or whatever, we would get like twice the number of people showing up just because the others like forgot or they didn't really care that much. But it's a good way to kind of throw a lasso out, you know, get everyone back in your club and actually come to the meeting. 
So in addition to this, we have the International Research Olympiad Discord server, where we're gathering all of the club leaders and members together in one spot. This is so we can do cross club events and competitions and contests and all sorts of fun things. So join our International Research Olympiad Discord, the link is in the description. And if you're a club member uh, or a club president, you'll get a special role granting you access to the secret chats. In addition to this, we're gonna get into recruiting members. This is the first way you can kind of start to scale your impact and truly see your club blossom. So in our guide, uh, the Google Doc that's linked in the description down below, we get in depth about this whole process. But I wanna talk about a couple things that I think are really important. As someone who has grown social media accounts, this is now my second YouTube channel. Um, my first one had 100,000 subscribers. I'm growing this one also probably in that range. I have experience with kind of recruiting people, going for outreach, getting leads, and things like that. And what I can tell you is these are kind of four techniques you can use to get members in your club, and that'll really help you scale your impact. The first is to go to friends, right? This is just warm outreach. Ask your friends to join you as a co-president, provide everyone with a leadership role so they truly feel motivated to help out in your club. The second is word of mouth, and this is also a warm outreach technique, where you go in person at your school, people in your classes who may be interested in this sort of thing, you just ask them to join. The next is a teacher campaign, and I think this is really effective. Let's say you have like an amazing middle school teacher or an amazing high school teacher uh, from a couple years back who you took their class, and you're, you, know, you know they have some science students or students who'd be interested in this thing, just shoot an email to them and get them to promote your club to those people. That'll help you grow your club massively because now you kind of have a teacher endorsement. The other thing you can do is kind of mass emailing and mass, mass outreach. So if you have a Google Groups or you have access to your entire school's email list, just shoot an email to literally everyone. And I can tell you that this works. Um, this is an old email from one of my clubs. It's not necessarily related to the actual uh, techniques that I just showed you because I didn't pull those emails from my school account, which got deleted. But um, I just found this email where we created our first Discord group for, for our research club or for our STEM club. And um, yeah, I think if you're starting a club like this, just you know, create a hangout and then start to go through this mass e emailing technique where you just email a ton of people. The email right before this, I literally just emailed like I think 50 to 100 people that I, I vaguely knew who might be interested in this at my school, and then a good portion of them ended up joining. So the other thing is on the International Research Olympiad website, we have a full club agenda and curriculum for you. So you know, meeting one, introduction to research, we'll give you slideshows for presenting in this as well as group activities to, uh, to partake in your club. So just a bunch of stuff and resources on the website. So I think the next kind of thing here is once you've created your social media account, registered with your teacher, registered with us at the IRO, how do you kind of scale your impact to get thousands of people to raise like crazy amounts for, of funding so you can get and accomplish the missions that you're trying to do, right? So I think number one, is, as I just alluded to it, is funding. I think funding is really important and people sometimes think, hey, I can just get around it. I think if you have active club funds, it just makes everything so much easier because you reduce the number of hours that people need to put in and you substitute that through capital. And a great way to get funding is literally just to register your STEM club or your research club with us. So if you have uh, an existing club at your school or you're looking to create one, you can get funding for it through the IRO. And again, link in the description. The other thing is our partner network. So we have sponsors, we have partners of our own who might be interested in basically helping fund your guys' initiatives as well, and we'll grant you full access to that. In addition, we have over 50 student-led STEM nonprofits around the country who will also be willing to spread your, mes spread your message and advance your mission, right? So I think that is also a very valuable resource. And the final thing is joint club events. So once we have you know, 100, 200 research clubs created around the world, right? Each of those, let's say, has 10 members. We will start to have thousands of people that can participate in events together. And so this could be, you know, phone-a-thons where we phone up and, and fundraise for a common mission of advancing like STEM education or advancing, you know, research initiatives at certain schools or funding, you know, science fairs that went defunct because they didn't have enough money, stuff like that, right? We can form these large scale joint club events and it allows us to basically scale all of our impacts based on the number of research clubs that form. 
So I think the takeaway here is really to create a club today, check the description for the full handbook. We'll basically walk you through the whole process. And if you have any questions, join our Discord link in the description down below as well.